Good morning and welcome to our official house tour. All right, I know I look a little bit crazy right now. I just tried to mop the floors. We're trying to clean this place up, but we bought a house, which is insane. It's super echoey in here. Um, I'm very pregnant, so I'm gonna be out of breath in this video, but we bought a house and it has seven bedrooms, which is crazy. We're literally going from less than 500 square feet to over 2,500. And we have so much room, it's just, it's wild. So I'm gonna show you our empty house tour before we move in. Am I gonna be out of breath? Yes, it's gonna be fine. I can't wait to show you guys. So let's okay, so get starting over here. We have the stairs to our left. I love the staircase. This is definitely an older home. 1800s okay so i love some of the charm that it comes with but this staircase i'm obsessed with i think i eventually want to do rug on the stairs i've seen a lot of like pinterest ideas um scott likes the navy blue so we might keep that i kind of want it to be black instead but definitely like carpet up the center i think would look so cool so this is the entryway and then i have no idea what we're gonna put right here I guess the last person had like a piano. It's like a perfect little piano spot. I don't think we'll be doing that. But this is the dining room and living room. Now the boob lights are everywhere and we're gonna get rid of those. I can't stand a boob, a boob light. So we have a ton of natural light. I think our dining room table is gonna go here. This wall is just a perfect wall for that anthropology mirror which I'm not gonna get, but I'm gonna get one that's similar, just like a little bit cheaper, and I'm gonna put it right here. So it's gonna be a big mirror. We have a little wood stove. We're gonna have our couch over here, which we probably won't have for a while. And then I'm thinking about mounting our TV on that wall. Um, there is a hookup on that wall, but I don't know. I just don't think that makes sense with the wood stove. I don't know. So yeah, this is gonna be like our entertaining space. And I feel like it's like a decent size. Like this is probably the same size as the entire barn. So we love this. Okay, this is the first room that is off of the living room and dining room. And this is gonna be my room. This is gonna be my beauty room, which I've always wanted like my own beauty space. So this is gonna be so nice. It just looks like this. I think I'm gonna put my Alex nine drawers in that little nook, because I think it's like the perfect size for it. Um, I do have a closet, so I'm gonna put some of my girly clothes in there. And then I wanna get like a bookshelf. I'm gonna put my mirror in here. It's just like a perfect little room for me. It's actually not even like that small. Like it is, but it isn't. And this is gonna be like my filming area too. So I'll probably film and maybe I'll do wallpaper on this wall. I don't know. There's so much to do. Okay, so this is the kitchen. I did put some shades up, so it's kind of dark in here. Um, we're eventually gonna have to get like nice shades and blinds, but for now I just put paper shades. They were super cheap off Amazon, but this is our kitchen. It's gonna feel nice to like not have such a small kitchen. And let me tell you guys, we have one cabinet right now. So this, actually, this is the size of our cabinet that we have at the barn, and we only have one. So we have one cabinet and we've been living with one cabinet for three years. So now we have cabinets, 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 drawers, space. Look at this. Pantry, pantry. Our fridge is being delivered soon. And we have more cabinets over here. Look at that. I, you, I can't believe we have cabinets. It's just wild. We're actually gonna have a spot for like all of our things. And we only have three drawers right now in the barn. So we have one, two, three at the barn. And now we have actual like a lot of drawers. And these are nice because you go like that. Like I said, the fridge is gonna go here. We have more cabinets up there. This is gonna be the little like coffee nook, which is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna put all of our mugs in here. Now I do have design plans for this kitchen. I like it. I do not love it, okay? Scott really likes this. I don't. Um, <laughs> but it will probably stay for a while. This is not our forever home, in case you guys were wondering. We're probably gonna live here for like six to eight years, but it is not our forever home. Um, so I wanna do gold. I wanna do like a brass gold for
for all the hardware in the kitchen. I think that would look really nice. We need to like warm it up in here because to me it's very like icy, it's cold, it's sterile. I don't know, I just want like warmth in my kitchen and I want really pretty like chandeliers. You already know that the living room's getting a pretty chandelier. But in the kitchen, we just need to add warmth. We just want like a long runner right here. We just need like it to be cozier in here if that makes sense. So this is the overall kitchen. I'll show you guys what my realtor gifted us. It's so, so sweet. Okay, so we got this yesterday. This is just such a sweet and thoughtful gift. So she was like so nice to work with and she's just like such a sweet human. So she put together this little gift. This is Teddy, oh my goodness, me and Scott. And she knows that I like like the gold. It's just so pretty. This is Oakley, oh my God, I love this frame and I love this picture. Now she hand painted this. This is Prosecco and I cannot wait. I need to drink this, okay? After this weekend, this week, it's been a it's been a time so i cannot wait to open this but at the same time like i've got to keep this bottle forever because it's so pretty so just says happy place keys to my happy place hand painted she's just so talented and i don't know this is just like really really sweet like all the things that i love this candle smells really good too she knows i love candles and then there's like a couple of like kitchen towels in there so such a sweet gift and then the seller gave us some flowers that are over there in the window we have a dishwasher okay we're gonna be washing dishes in the dishwasher <laughs> it's like things like that that you just like take for granted but like we've been hand washing or i've been hand washing for so long so i'm just so overly excited what we don't have is a microwave so let me know should we get a microwave or should we just be like, no, no more, you know? I don't know. Again, I'm out of breath. Let's go this way. All right, so this is the first bathroom and I have such plans for this bathroom. I definitely want to change all the hardware. Like I want gold again, that light fixture I don't like. I saw a really pretty one on Amazon. I kind of want to do wallpaper on this wall eventually and then do a different like Victorian mirror in here. Um, we need a new shower head. That one's just gotta go. It is a jetted tub, but I need to deep clean it. A lot of the things in here are kind of like still outdated and we need to do like fixer upper projects. So it's gonna take some time because I feel like everywhere we turn is like, okay, we should fix this. We have this to work on. So it's a work in progress. It's not like our favorite house, like our dream house. We have a lot of things to do. Like some things just were not done correctly, but um, like that bothers me for some reason. But anyways, this is the first bathroom. I feel like you're not gonna love everything about a house and you're just gonna see things that you wanna change and that's what we're gonna do. So that's the bathroom. And then in here, this is Scott's office and he can finally like work from home, which is gonna be cool. He's gonna have, this is like his, he likes to game. He's a gamer on the computer. So he's gonna have his own space for gaming, his office, a desk, bookshelf. We gotta get rid of those boob lights. Look at how tall the ceilings are. They're 10 feet tall. They're really high. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be his office. Mine's a little bit bigger in my like my space, but he has a bigger closet. How did he get away with this? He's got like a walk-in closet, are you kidding? I'm like, you can put all of your clothes in there and then I'll take over the other two closets. But this is Scott's space, really nice. You guys, the cabinets, like for the pantry. Now this is not like a walk-in pantry, obvious, obviously, but we've just never had anything like this. And it just makes my heart happy that we can have it. Um, also, what would you guys do with this blank wall? I don't know if this is like holding up the house, but it's just like a blank structure and I don't know what we would put here. So if you guys have any recommendations, I don't know if it would look good with a piece of art there. Like, I don't know, I don't think so. But something I feel like needs to go there. Okay, let's go up these stairs. There's two sets of stairs, so there's stairs on the other side as well. Oh, I did not clean that well. So let's go up. Now there is a huge chandelier up top. I don't love it, but eventually we will get a new chandelier. Okay, so the first room is gonna be Oakley's room. It's so bright in here. This is gonna be his own room, you guys. I'm so excited. 
he's never got to experience his own bedroom. So this is his room. We have um, a big bed coming for him. Well, it's actually, it's already here, but we have to set it up. So he's gonna have a full bed in here and it's pretty decent space. And he also has a walk-in closet. Like, it's so exciting. Like it's not the biggest room in the world, but it definitely works. The tall ceilings make it seem so much bigger. Now this is gonna be the nursery. I'm sorry, it's so echoey. This is gonna be the nursery for baby girl. And I just think it like looks like a nursery to me. So walk in, she has a big closet too. I think I'm gonna put the changing table right here and then I'll put the crib right there. I don't know, I have a lot of plans for this room too. I have a really cute like rug mat that I'm gonna um, probably set up tomorrow. It's gonna be so pretty. So yeah, this is gonna be a really, really cute room. Okay, so this space is right outside the little laundry room and I would like to make this a gym. So nothing crazy, I just want a treadmill, which we have, and my bike. So if we're gonna set it up here, I need like something different. The floors aren't great to be honest. Like they look nice, but like we have slanted floors. Like I'm going downhill right now. So not the best, but that's what you get when you have like such an old house. Um, I would eventually like to put a TV there and then have our machines here to have like a little workout area. I think it's so cute, like perfect for working out. This is our laundry room, which is so small and let me tell you, it looks like our dryer is bleeding. Like, I don't know what that is. Um, not the best washer and dryer, but it came with the house. So I don't know our plans for this room. Maybe something here. I don't know. Okay, this is the other bathroom. And I don't know. I have a love-hate with this bathroom. Like, I feel like it's cute, but, it, oh, but it's definitely not like my style. I don't know, it's fine, it's fine for now. There's a lot of storage right there. We have a shower that has a ton of jets, which is super nice. Uh, Scott's gonna have to do caulking around that because it's like, he actually wants to replace the whole door. Um, the only thing that's nice about the shower, to be honest, in my opinion, are the jets. Like, that's it. Like, I would redo the whole thing, Scott would redo the whole thing. There's just like some issues. Also, this is like my most hated thing, and I will be nitpicky right now. That's just, you know, that's who I am. This is not, that's gotta go, that's gotta go. Also, that light fixture has to go, but this is the bathroom. Decent mirror, decent, but I just feel like they could have done this so differently. Also kind of an odd spot for the toilet. Like if it was me, I would have put the toilet right there in that little section, right? And then I would have had a big vanity right here, like double sinks maybe, or just like something a lot bigger right there. You know, whatever. For now, this is what it looks like. And it's fine, it's great, it's fine. Okay, so this is Scott and I's bedroom, which is so much bigger than we have. Um, there's a ton of space in here, we have two, windows and then our bed's gonna go here but this is a pretty big space i forgot the dimensions of this room but i'm pretty sure it's like 12 by 24 23 i don't know it's it's a big room it's like a little bit skinnier but it's very very long and i don't know i like it also the closet looks like this we'll be putting my clothes in this closet Okay, we're going up to the third floor now, which is like such a bonus space. Now it is hot up here. It's not even summer yet and it is, it's like 90 degrees up here. Um, this house does not have central air, it's fine. I'm hot already, but it's fine. We have this room right here, which no idea what we would do with this room. This is what it looks like. It's pretty cute, but what are we gonna do with it? I don't know. This is just like a closet, like a storage space. And then you come down here. I have not mopped up here, but you come up here and this is just like a huge bonus room. So I think what we're gonna do is have this be a playroom. I'm not entirely sure, but there's a decent amount of space up here. Very echoey. We have a little closet right here. And then we have another one 
right there. So this will be fun, um, depending on what we do with it, but yeah, just like a big open space, which is always nice. I love the detailing right there. Um, I would just change out the chandelier. I'm just walking by this and just, I love that so much because um, I just like that style. Same with like the tops of all the windowsills look like that. It's just like gives it such character. So that's pretty cool. We're definitely gonna have to put up some gates, but me and Scott's room, Oakley's room, baby girl's room. It's gonna be so nice once we like, once it actually feels like a home because right now it does not. One of the greatest things about this house is the natural lighting. There's just like so much light everywhere just because there's so many windows. So it's gonna be definitely nice for like filming. And it's just like a breath of fresh air to be honest. Um, just having like a new space. So that is our empty house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will take you guys with us with like the decorating, the journey, each room, all of that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.